I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty nast. Nast? Uh huh. Is that vernacular you, you, you've been using? Uh huh. I don't know what, like, Portland is doing to you, but I don't like it. Now we're live. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. We fucked up our intro. We had a real good intro bit, and you didn't hear it. We did a, it. we did a whole intro. We f- had a bit. We did a bit. It was great. Oh my god. Oh no. We fucked up. We fucked up on our first stream in months. I know. Thanks a lot, After. everybody. Thanks for coming Thanks, out. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. Um. So yeah. Um. What's What's up, Vidya? Hi. How are you? I'm mm, good. I hear there's plants and zombies, and some or all of them are heroes. Only, only all of them are heroes. Only all of them are heroes. Only everyone's a hero in their own way. Oh look, I'm doing a thing. This is like janked out right now. Everybody just calm down, okay? I think um, everyone except for you is calm, actually. Everybody calm the fuck down for five what if, seconds. What if everyone was calm? As I think is the case, because everyone is chill. All right, we're doing it. We're that back. is so many mice curses. Uh huh. We're is back. This plants, is this plants versus zombies versus mice? This is what the game is. Welcome. Um, hey, Vithya. Um, where can we find you on Twitter? I have uh, to make you can find sure my. Me on oh, Twitter at Akatuki. That's cool. I have to make sure my phone doesn't go sleep again. Um, because then I'll have to, like, reset up the thing. But we're doing it. It's great. Um, my name's... Jill's phone. Yeah, who's Jill, you may ask? Well, you can find her... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can find her at Jill Kamesh on Twitter, or play the games, maybe, that she makes at crying.online. Um, That's why we make the big bucks for these sick-ass segues. Uh-huh. Hey... Hey, do you like plants? I do. How do you feel about zombos? Hard pass. Excuse me? Hard pass. Oh, I um, I actually, I actually main zombos. Oh, this is. All Can we still be sisters? No. Oh, that's uh, fucked. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play um. I'm gonna play a a computer match to kind of like explain what this game is. Okay. It's probably very loud. Explain all the stuff I'm looking at right now. Open. Uh, right now I'm, I'm doing a thing with sound. Yeah, here we go. That should be much better. All right. So, um, I'm gonna mulligan. Uh, so what's, what are the numbers on all the cards? So it's like Hearthstone. What are the numbers on all the cards for people who don't play Hearthstone? Okay. Don't make people learn Hearthstone to win bit. Um, so, the, um, okay. Now I can explain it. I don't have to, like, think about anything. Um, so, um, the green number is the attack, and the red heart is how much health each of the zombies have. I'm not as good at this as you are, so bear with me. I'm not, I'm not good at it. You're real good at explaining and playing Hearthstone for people, um, but anyway. So, I've got my zombos. This is a um, unlife of the party zombo, and it gets one one damage and one plus one he damage and plus one heart uh, health when I play another zombie. Um, so that's gonna be good. Um, this is this is um, a conga drum lady. Um, Good. Great. 
she she Video has game. she has gravestone um what gravestone does is when you play it okay uh-huh i'm gonna use gravestone to explain how the phases of this game work okay. so the first phase of the every term the zombies can play zombie creatures they can't play any spells or tricks as they're called in this game like this is the chickening um it's a spell and it does two damage to each plant um but it costs four bra four brains to play and we can't play that yet because we only have one brain we're gonna get another brain like at the end of this turn we're gonna have two brains it's gonna be really good brains are good and then three brains and four brains. And then once we have four brains, we can play the chicken egg. It's going to be real good. But we can't play it on this phase. Only zombies can be played on this phase. So I'm going to... I'm going to actually skip this phase. Because I don't want to throw these out to, to get smacked down real quick. So after that, it's the plants phase. Plants can play uh, creatures or spells. Um, he is playing a spell at me immediately. Um, and then the zombies get another phase, and it's the zombie trick phase. Um, now I can play these like tricks um, if I want to. Are they um, only allowed against kids, or can you play the tricks against anyone? Tricks are for everyone, um, equal opportunity tricks. Um, and then after that, um, yeah, it's a card game. After that, um, it goes into like the the like action phase and everything kind of like plays out you'll see how that works once I, I get a body on the board we're gonna get a body on the board um so, so it has gravestone which means that i play it and the other the opponent can't see what it is and the opponent won't see what how, what it is until after their thing and then the like gravestone comes off uh during the zombie trick phase and um, this particular character, when it when the gravestone comes off, I can choose to do uh, one damage to to whomever. Um, so that's gonna be good. All right. How does the gravestone come off again? Um, once the the plant's play phase is over, then uh, it comes off just like that. And I'm gonna so it's like it's like a that. it's like a late battle cry. Yeah, kinda. Okay. I'm following. So part of part of the strategy is they don't know what it is, um, uh -huh. and there are also like there's plant cards that like munch on gravestones. So like you could just get your shit ganked like right off the gate, and you don't even get to see what or it was. Or you could play like a bad gravestone, and like they waste a thing on it, maybe. Yeah. Uh huh. That makes sense. Um, so I don't have any more brains because I spent my two on the conga lady. So let's go to the fight phase. In the fight phase, everything happens. Um, Video games are so good because you don't have any more brains because you spent them on the conga lady. Uh huh. So in the fight phase, the way the the way that the fight phase works is like, like if I had had my conga lady on the same, uh, on the same uh, like little stretch as the um the fire this fire pea shooter um they would have both done their damage to each other even if like the the fire shooter would have killed the conga lady but she would have still done her two damage to to the the fire plant um it oh, just works out like that this has like the plants versus zombie zombies lane set up yeah it's really neat that's, re that's really rad yeah this is a neat game um, so I'm going to not play a zombie because I think I want to play this or uh, oh no I don't never mind so this destroys each plant with two power or less and that's not gonna help me with with uh, the fire plant um, I'm gonna play this guy over here and hope that um, he doesn't play anything to block it because if it does damage to him, it'll uh, do three damage to a random plant. That's super good. Oh, you jerk. So 
So this thing has team up. Team up means uh, another plant can be played in that lane with it. Oh, neat. Oh, and that one can move zombies. Uh huh. Yeah, when it's played, um, it moved Conga Lady over to where it was. So that's not going to be good for me. Um, this is going to leave me with, uh, they're going to have board advantage. Oh, okay, so here's the thing I neglected to explain. Um, you see the little, uh, meters next to our life totals? Uh-huh. Whenever damage is done to my hero, um, that either fills up one bar, two bars, or three bars. And when it fills up all the way, um, the hit that made it fill up all the way doesn't do any damage to, to you. It blocks that damage, and then it gives you one of your hero powers. Um, and you can either keep it in your hand and play it later for one brain, or play it now for none brains. Um, I'm going to play it now, um, because I stand to, to gain a lot by attacking for two damage in three random lanes. So here I go. That's not as great as it could have been. Um, it would have been great if I'd have got that, that cactus out of the way. Um, hmm. This game is real cute. Yeah. So, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna throw both of these kids out here, and with any luck, one of them will survive, and I'll be able to play this on it and give it plus three damage. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah. We should have done this a week ago instead of you just yelling at me for a week to play this game. Because then I probably would have tried. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. Now I've just got all tricks, but... Uh-huh. Which makes sense, because you're a kid. This is, that's good. This is going to do some work for me this turn. It's going to kill both of those cactuses and the walnut. What's the walnut? The walnut, um, it, it, has, walnut? it has tea nut, team up and it just has a, a good bit of health. So it's so, kind of like a shield bear? Yeah, it's a blocker. I'm also allergic to it. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of rude that it exists. Later, skaters. Is that the thing you say? Mm-hmm. I've never heard you say What if instead of saying that you did, you fucking lose it? Oh no, um, actually I did say it. Oh, well, here we are, I guess. So this is gonna do some work for me too. So all the, um, all the zombies have a different type. Um, aerobics instructor is a dancing zombie. Um, and both of these are dancing zombies, too. So... Can you sing Dancing Queen real quick, but with zombie instead? No. It's a real good goof, but I don't remember the word. Okay, I, you know... Sometimes it's the goofs that you don't play. Okay, if you're watching right now, pretend I did and laugh about it, because it's real good. Thank you. My unlife of the party is is continuing to get stronger and stronger. So that's, that's good. That's gets plus one plus one every turn, or every time you get put in the zombie. Up. Yeah, every time I put. So now, my unlife of the party will get plus one plus one every time I put another zombie out, and all three of these will get plus one uh, damage at the start of each turn. Um, Neat. I'm gonna play. This cake explosion, it does four damage. I'm kind of dropping a damage for it, but I really want to hit him for six damage. 
you're playing against a computer right now, right? This is a computer because I, I wanted to be able to have as much time as I wanted to explain the game. Oh, it turns time. That yeah. Um. Yeah, this is just bad news for him. Um, so what Frenzy does is, um, if you, um, if a, if a zombie has Frenzy and it kills a plant in a lane and it doesn't die itself, then it gets to keep attacking. So, like, say, say the aerobics instructor with its 3-3 three, three had Frenzy and there was, like, a three health walnut and then, like, a... 1-1 one, one pea shooter in that lane she would hit the walnut kill it then hit the pea shooter kill it and then hit the person in the face frenzy is nice. sick as fuck and this this plant friend is gonna die the computers aren't very good Okay. Kaboom. <clears throat> let's play a um let's play a ranked match. Let's just fucking jump in there. You're gonna crush it, I believe in you. I hope so. I've been I've been doing real well and like suddenly I'm going up against like Silver League uh folks and it's getting a little tougher. So we'll see if I crush it or not. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good for old Jill. So the thing I like about the arm, arm wrestling zombie is it starts off with plus two plus two, so you can't just like chump block it dead like you can uh, on the first turn it's out, like on Life of the Party, which happens a lot on the first turn of the game. Um, plus, if any... Uh, it gets plus one plus one every time a, uh, a plant is played in the same lane that it's in. So it's like a really Hard strong, yeah, it's a really strong starter. Um, I'm playing, I'm playing him on the side because um, the pea shooter hero she has this thing that she's using right now. She can attack for five down the middle of the lane and like. You start off with one of your hero powers at the beginning. So like, there's like a one in four chance that she starts off with that move, so I always play on the side. Gotcha. M says to stay real cool and good because I'm the best, and I feel real good about the things that she said about me. M's is also correct about most Mm-hmm. Um, about other people. I'm tempted to play this, but I feel like I feel like it'll get it'll get like immediately countered and I won't get any of that good good buff out of it. So I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Congo Drum Lady instead. Sometimes it's good to think about like letting things get countered even though it's because a future thing won't get Mm-hmm. Okay. Um So here's what I'm going to do. Um so I waited to play this. Um Now I can play it and if it gets if it gets like countered with something, then I can at the very least take it down cuz they'll be like, "Oh, it only hits for one." 
But then with my zombie trick, I give it plus three, and then it kills whatever they put out to chump block it. Nice. Um, I'm gonna put it in the middle. The two the two areas on the sides have special properties too. The the one on the left is heights, and certain cards play off of that. And then the one on the right is um, water, and you have to have like amphibious to play, to be played. Your card has to have amphibious to be played on there. See, they did the thing, and now I'm gonna do the thing. And they're gonna get wrecked to the fucking highest heights. They walked right into your your thing. Mm-hmm. They activated your trick card. Uh huh. Um, in a perfect world, I would play this Unlife of the Party and this um, Disco Dancing guy because he makes a 1 1 backup dancer in another lane, but I'm out of lanes. So I'm gonna stick with what I've got and play this Cake Explosion on something if he tries to kill my, um, my aerobics instructor. Hi, Adam. See, this thing gets uh, plus two, plus two, and it's played on heights, and that stinks. But it's right in range of my cake explosion. Get fucked. And if I'm lucky, um, the damage from my uh, arm wrestler will um, do two two stacks of block. And it'll get blocked so that the six damage gets through. But I could get unlucky and it'll only uh, fill it up one bar. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Oh god, bounce, bounce the arm wrestler. Yeah! Bounce just means it bounces back to your hand. This is real good. I'm fucking him up. And I've got uh, enough space to play this combo. So I'm gonna play him here. And that. Yeah, we're looking good. You're looking good. Oh, thanks. Uh, you know, I really try. I know. I try a lot. That's why I wanted to recognize. You try so hard and you get so far. Oh, so this thing has splash damage. Um, so it attacks, like, all three of the rows around it. Uh, well, the row it's in and then the two that, that are around it. Um, so that'll kill my aerobics instructor and this backup dancer, but that's okay. We're still, we're still good. Oh. Um. If I get a direct damage thing, I just win. No. Um. Let's just... Put these two boys on the board. These good boys. Who are these good boys? They're really good boys. Don't arm wrestle them, because they're real good at it. But like, you know. Navy Bean! This doesn't save you. None of this saves you. Even if the first arm wrestler gets blocked, um, you still die, no matter what. Yay, we won! Lizzie wants you to arm wrestle her IRL. Meet me in Portland. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some water real quick, because I remembered that I haven't drank water in a while. Let's I might not drink. have taken my med. I hey, do that. Let's, let's get right with our bodies, friend. What if we were good to ourselves?
I'm back. Hi, meet him inside. Meet him inside. Meet him inside. Meet him. Meet him inside. Okay. Let me take a nice swaller of this here water. <clears throat> yeah, that's 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 real good to drink. Did you know? That's the good stuff. Did you know about it? I knew about it. Um, okay. Um, let's play more of this game. Are you are you digging this? Yeah. Um, I'm a little out of because I'm like tipsy. Um, but it's good. I would play it. I think. Yeah, you should play it, and we can talk deck building strategies. All right. Um. So I don't want either of these chickenings, I don't think. I got Arm Wrestler, that's real good. Um, that'll be real good later. Um, yeah, I like this. Ooh, and I got the best, um, the best power to start with. This one um, makes two 1-1 one -one backup dancers in random lanes. Um, so it's it's pretty much the best one you can start with, I think. Um, so the cool thing about this is it sets up a really good combo where I can turn one arm wrestler and then turn two um, unlife of the party and um, then make two backup dancers. It's a V good start. Team sixes. Am I explaining too much? I mean, not for me. I'm following it, maybe for other people. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done this. Our explanation to ship post ratio is probably like well down. More ex probably be stronger. More explanation than ship posts. Yeah, we're a little too much explanation, a little too little ship posts. All right. Um, what do you think about boners? <laughs> there it is. That's that good hashtag content. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. if I was smart, I would have. Um, I would have played that. Uh, on life elsewhere. Oh no, actually, actually we're fine. This is good. This person you're, thinks that he's fucking sly. You're a little bit country and a little bit shitpost. Why does that person think they're sly? So, um, they played this, um, mushroom that gives another plant plus two plus two and gave their, um, zero three, made it a, a two three. But they didn't, uh -huh. thinking they were going to kill my unlife, but they didn't know that I am who I am. Who are you? Jillian. Look at this, look at this sick ass board advantage I'm sitting on. And... I think everything else is enough of a threat that I can play this. Um, it's a 3-1, so it's real dangerous to play, but when it goes off, it's real good. I think he's gonna try and kill my unlife because he's scared of it snowballing. It's oh, head games! It's head games, sis! Uh-huh. You're real good at head games. Head games! You're real good at playing head games with their heart. Quit playing head games with my head heart. My head heart. Oh, okay. That's fine. Everything's right. Yeah, this is good. This is fine. Um, ideally, I would get a buff card next turn. Cause I'm scared for my abracadaver. 
That's not a buff card, but I can do this. Yeah, might as well. So this guy um, is one five and does two damage to the two straight to the face damage uh, whenever it takes damage. I got a tricky ass deck, sis. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty nast. Nast? Uh huh. Is that vernacular you you you've been using? Uh huh. I don't know what like Portland is doing to you, but I don't like this. <laughs> oh, this is rude. When did you become the kind of person to say nast unironically? This is rude. They were rude to me, and I think with that, that with that three three. Oh yeah. No that what they did was they played a um they played a card that gives all the zombies on the ground minus one minus one, so it killed all of my things with one uh health. Um and I can't even play this unlife dancer combo because um I only have one slot. Like um I'm gonna play you have, this. You have two, right? No, because that's water. But you have one in the middle and one right next to the middle, on the right. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I couldn't play the... If I played the unlife in the middle, and I had, like, two other slots, then I could make it 3-3 three, three and be able to kill this. What if you put the dancer in the middle? Oh, that's what I should have done. Damn. That's what I should have done. That was a misplay. Um, shit. The crummy thing about this plant, too, is it has strike through. So, um, it's gonna do three damage to my face as well as three damage to, um, the zombie. Fuck! Shit's rough out here, dear. Um, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna play the unlife right here. We're gonna play the dancer right here to do three damage, and then the one one will kill that, the rest of that thing. Hopefully that works out. Don't play any tricks. Don't play any tricks. Tricks are for pricks. Woo. That's that's a, a rough plant you got there, friendo. But I don't really care that much. Yeah. Get bopped. Ooh. Friendo has pretty pretty sick card advantage. Um I'm gonna toss this out here. Um it's a real jerk of a card. Um actually No, I'm just gonna chump block with this medic and heal myself for four I'm scared things aren't going good that person has a lot of cards in their hand uh huh I can stall them real well though. Did you see what this um this pharaoh card in my hand does? What's it do? Um your hero's health can't go below one. So I can I can do some, some mad stall tactics. Um huh. Yeah, but I don't know how you catch up. You know what I mean? I mean if they can 
if they um, play all of their shit before I die. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You might be all a boner, sis. Nah, let's let's just calm down with all of that that talk. Ugh. Ooh, that was smart. What? Ah, oh, I'm fucked. It looks like their deck had like a lot of weaknesses early, but we weren't able to punish it enough, and it got to do the thing it wanted. Ooh, this will piss them off. What? Well, well. The um, hero power I got from my block gave my um, I was able to give my Pharaoh plus five health, so it didn't die the way they wanted it to. Um, huh? I can. Do this and this. Ugh. How hard is it to play this game for free? Um... Good question. Um... This is the turn in which I die. But at least I can piss this jerk off. Zombie in the suit looks so sad. Uh huh. How long have we been streaming? Because Hitbox says we've been streaming for 1807 days. Uh huh. Is that right? Yeah. That's like from both of our before times. Uh huh. I don't think it's right. What makes you think that? I don't think Hitbox was alive for 1807 days. Hmm. <clears throat> I think they know. They know better than we do, right? Like they they're, they're Hitbox. That's true. Here's, here's my point. I'm a sleepy baby who hasn't been sleeping enough this week. And it's 12.30 a.m. Uh-huh. So I might be done. Yeah, um, that seems realistic. Being done might, seems like a thing. It might, it might be a short stream. Yeah. But I think it was good to get back into the habit. Yeah, I hope, I hope that people liked this game. I could see myself streaming it uh, more because I play it a heck of a lot. I could see myself being less drunk and helping you. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Look, uh -huh. look, it's my phone. Look, I can do anything I want. Don't, like, don't like, be careful. You're streaming your phone. Um, we should do outros. It's fine. I don't think, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Um, uh, we should do outros. Um, what we should really do is, oh, I can't play a game that's landscape because it's not going to show up right. Nope. We should do outros instead, but you can hold your phone sideways while we do outros. Oh no, it switched! It switched! Look how smart it is! Oh, Welcome back, Jilgamesh. Um, it's cut off on the stream a little bit. Yeah, anyway. I mean, I'd have to move it, but like, it switched. Um, um look, you can look what me. I can- Hold on, can... wait! <laughs> God damn it! Look, wait, everybody, hold on. Lizzie wants us to know Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. Look, here's, um... Because we're back in the habit of streaming and we're sister. Here's a game called Bullet Hell Monday. That's pretty good. And Sister Act 2, with the subtitle, is Back in the Habit. And it was a pun because Back in the Habit was coming back for a second but also Habit like the thing, the hat thing. So, uh -huh. like, it's like no, I think I get puns it. into another pun about us. You know, um, I think that, um, that has a lot to say, um, about modern day consumption. Of, what if instead of unpacking Sister Act 2 back in the habit, uh, we went to bed? Um, it doesn't look like it's happening. What if I just left? No, don't leave. But, Look, it's um, Bullet Hell Monday. I, I'm gonna be honest. Uh huh. Don't care. Oh wow, really? Not about Bullet Hell Monday. I mean, you do know that it's Bullet Hell Monday, right? I do, but also it's Sleepy Hell. Oh fuck! I Monday. died. Get fucking wrecked, nerd. <laughs> fucking nerdo. This is because you're tired and not sleeping enough, and you should also go to bed. You don't know how much I'm sleeping. Probably not enough. I mean, you're not wrong, but... Alright. No, let's, uh... Let's get the heck out of here. Let's, uh... Let's blow this pop cap sickle stand. Fuck you. God damn it. You can find <laughs> me at Akatuki on Twitter. And also, you can find me unfollowing Jill on Twitter. <laughs> um, you can find me on Twitter. Um... And you can follow me to make up for for um, video unfollowing me at uh, Jill Gamesh. You can also play our games at Crying Online. Yeah, don't do that though. Cause you might cry online. Yeah, you might actually cry online. Adam is saying Jill. What do you What do you want, Adam? I'll let you have the last word in this stream. It's not gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Here, while we wait, let's, um... I don't know. Which... What are games? Not art. Here, here's some Naruto while we wait. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, um, you gave us the last word. It's word. Bye. It was, it was word. Alright, bye, bye everybody! Forever. Bye forever, but not actually forever. Until the next time we stream, bye! Bye. Bye. It wasn't easy. Oh, okay. What is what is easy though, really? No nothing. <laughs> okay, just <laughs> <laughs> just checking. Hey, are you are you okay? <laughs> no. Are you okay? <laughs>